In this version of Refill, we will see added support for M1, multi-frame rendering, and added new features for Refill Offset as well as a new plugin called Refill Seamless Blend. Note, you need to be on Refill version 3 and over for this tutorial. Let's start with Refill Offset. We can see in this shot a guy passing from left to right. We want to remove the guy from the shot. We can use Refill Offset now to do simple removals like this, where we have locked down camera and can generate a clean plate. Offset literally gets the texture from a different part of the image. If I turn off layer 2 and turn on layer 1, we can see that we've made a rough garbage mat of the sky walking through the frame. Now we can go back to layer 2. We can add refill offset to layer 2. We can start with holes, alt source, and choose layer 1. This is the layer where we have the garbage mat. For source, we can choose masks, since it's only masks and not effects. We can invert the mat by checking the Invert Holes box. Now we can go to Time Offset Mode. Before we only had the choice of frame number. Now we have Frame Offset as well. We choose Frame Offset for this example. We want to indicate how many frames to offset, so we go to Source, Number Frame Offset, and Twirl Open, and we can slide it around until the guy disappears. You can animate keyframes so we can jump through the keyframes for the mask to see how it works. We can do a RAM preview and see how it looks. Just looking back at the effect controls, I want to show you that if you go beyond the offset numbers indicated here, uh, for example, here it shows minus 100 and 100, and we could just type in the value if it's beyond 100, like minus 147, for example. Okay, let's move on to another example using Refill Seamless Blend. We can start by going to Composition and Save Frame As File. And we're saving a frame to use as a clean plate. We can go to the Render Settings, Current, and make sure our render is at full res first in the display monitor since we have it set to current settings. We can select OK, and then for Output Module, we can leave on Photoshop Format. We can also change post render action to import. Now we can select render. The rendered file shows up in our project bin and we can drag that as layer 3. We add refill seamless blend and for blend in image we can choose layer 3, the clean plate we just made. The mask blend area will be the same mask we used in the first example. So that's layer 1. We can also change the source to mask. Now we can play with a few options. Let's start with iterations, which is a contained internal pass with strength determined by the number indicated. 20 is default and often enough. The higher the number can produce better results, but will be slower computation. A lower number can behave similar to a blend. We can see an example by changing it to 1 and see that it isn't affecting it too much. Now we can change it to 10 and check the result again. We can see the difference using Blend Over or Blend Under, determining which image is on top. Next we can use Threshold and Smooth in combination, as Smooth will affect the result of the set threshold value. At zero there is no smooth effect, and as the number goes up, it extends the area being compared. Clamp is only for 32-bit float to prevent values to expand beyond 0 to 1.0 range. You should use this option if you see overshoot artifact. So you can play with these values until you get the result that works for your particular scenario. In this example, Seamless Blend helped with the shadows and the sun rays to add to the result from offset. Sometimes you use offset and sometimes Seamless Blend but you also might need to combine both for the best result. These are two examples to demonstrate some new features and a new plugin for Refill. You can download the new version 3 of Refill from our website and try them out for yourself.